Welcome to In the Know with the Stafford SO, a podcast of the Stafford County Sheriff's Office that focuses on cops, community, and everything in between. If you want to know more about law enforcement life and times just south of our nation's capital, then you're in the right place. Stay tuned for In the Know with the Stafford SO. Welcome to episode five of In the Know with the Stafford SO. I am Kathy Volbrecht, your host for today. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to talk about one of our biggest community events for the Stafford Sheriff's Office, National Night Out, which is Tuesday, August 6th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the Target parking lot at Stafford Marketplace. We have today with us Sergeant Carol Burgess with the Sheriff's Office to give us details on that very fun event. But before we get into today's main topic, I just want to talk a little bit about what we've been doing um, in the Sheriff's Office this summer. We've been really busy with um, our community. In early June, we graduated all of the county's fifth graders from our D.A.R.E. program with a huge celebration at Pratt Park. And D.A.R.E. is a partnership between the Sheriff's Office and with Stafford County Schools that teaches kids how to resist peer pressure and live productive drug and violence-free lives. We also just finished with our annual Badges for Baseball camp, during which our deputies teach kids the fundamentals of baseball, but also help expand their life skills. This summer, we also have the Junior Deputy Academy going on for our school participants, and this is a one-week summer program that focuses on activities that build character, as well as basic instruction in law enforcement duties and responsibilities. This week we have our elementary school kids going through it, and then next week we have our middle school students attending the academy. So that brings us to today. Uh, I had mentioned we are going to talk about a very fun and special event that's coming up for our community in August, and that is National Night Out, which is also known as America's Night Out Against Crime. And our guest today is Sergeant Carol Burgess with the Sheriff's Office Crime Prevention Unit. Sergeant Burgess, welcome to the podcast. Let's begin by telling our listeners what is National Night Out about? All right. Well, um, Kathy, this is the 36th annual National Night Out um, Prevention event. Um, there will be more than 6,000 communities that will join forces on Tuesday, August 6th to promote police community partnership, crime, drug and violence prevention, safety and neighborhood unity. National Night Out is also a, is for citizens across the country to send a powerful message about neighborhood unity, awareness, safety, and police partnership. Another important campaign component of National Night Out is Lights On, meaning lights out for crime. Um, to promote the proper use of energy efficient outdoor security lighting, we encourage all our residents and business owners to properly light their homes, business, and streets to deter crime, drug activity, and overall safety for our community. One of the most important things I think about National Night Out is how it highlights our community police partnerships. Can you talk about why such partnerships are so important? Well, um, when you bring our citizens and our uh, police together, um, and for National Night Out, it's a positive environment. Um, there's, you know, police, as far as us, it's a stress-free environment. It gives our citizens the opportunity to know who we are, what we do, and interact on that human level, because sometimes right. they don't get to see that. Um, so it's important for us, too, as well, to interact with our citizens. And it gives them a chance to meet the people behind the badges. Exactly. That's and what it, it's all about. And mm -hmm. have a lot of fun as well. And what's this year's theme? Because I know that there's a theme for each year. Yes. Um, this year's theme, actually, the theme has not changed. It's okay. give neighborhoods, crime, and drugs a going away party. Um, so, again, it's a block party. Um, when we're at National Night Out, we're sending the message in Stafford County and everywhere else, crime and drugs are not here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know the main event takes place at Stafford Marketplace in yes. front of the Target um, store in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. We also have activities going on in the neighborhoods, and we'll talk about that more in just a second. But um, can you go over one more time the times and um, uh, just let people know exactly where they can park once they get there? Okay. It's going to be in Stafford Marketplace in the Target parking lot. So the Target parking lot um, is located at 1090 Stafford Marketplace. 
Um, and it's going to be Tuesday, August 6th, starting at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, parking is going to be all surrounding that entire uh, area. Um, so you can park, uh, I think there's a, a Ross um, in front of the PetSmart. So anywhere except for, uh, we'll have all that roped off um, as far as the parking. So wherever you park or even walk to the event. Um, okay. Yes. And I know everybody loves shopping in that area. Stafford yes. Marketplace is so much fun. Um, and people are bound to be going to Target. So if they don't know about this and they go shopping, they'll be able to hopefully stop by and um, participate in some of our national night out activities. Mm -hmm. And I have to actually make a correction because I believe I said that it was till 9 p.m., but it's actually 5 to 8 5 to 8, yes. Okay, that's great. Correct. Can you talk about what kind of activities there will be for people to participate in? Um, all the activities will be crime prevention related. Um, we'll have safety demonstrations, we'll have seminars, we'll have youth events, some of the youths coming up and participating in their events, showing what they do as far as their business. Our emergency personnel, fire and um, the sheriff's office, will be putting on demos, we have exhibits and much, much more. Um, and also there's several food vendors as well. Oh, that's always good, yes, for snacks. Um, <laughs> So there's really going to be an activity for people of all ages. Absolutely, yes. Okay. And this is free, right? There's no cost. No cost to attend. Um, and as well, as far as our vendors, there will be no charges for any service. So um, okay. it's all free. Can you talk about the vendors? Do we know um, what vendors will be participating, just to give people an idea? Um, we'll have several local businesses, Stafford County schools, local gyms in the area, and uh, several of our food vendors. So a lot of our small businesses are coming out as well oh, good. in the so county. That's a great opportunity for people to... Um, uh, see what kind of small businesses we have and mm -hmm. um, get to know them a little bit better. Now, there are, um, you mentioned uh, all the vendors, we have a lot of setups, we have activities. Talk about how much planning goes into this event. You start planning way ahead of time, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Um, we started planning um, probably as early as January um, oh, wow. for the event. And as soon as the event is over, the call's are already coming in mm -hmm. um, as far as trying to be a part of the next year, the following year. Okay. How do we get the word out to neighborhoods? Because I know, um, as we mentioned, in addition to the main event, there are neighborhood events gonna, that are going to take place. Yes. Our, we have our neighborhood watch community. So we have an um, a email system where we are able to communicate with them. I go out as well as talk to our neighborhood um, when we have our neighborhood watch events. So um, it's out through the word of, a mouth, word of mouth by the block captain. So they okay. put it out to the neighborhoods so they can actually coordinate a block party um, and let the city citizens know and so we have probably 11 neighborhoods participating this year um, but a lot of them actually like to come out to Stafford Marketplace and participate. Okay for those neighborhoods that want to hold their own celebration what are some of the activities that they like to uh, put on for people? Um, well we'll have our sheriff's deputy go out with McGruff um, okay. and interact and they'll take them some national night items um, and they actually they're either doing a cookout they're informed about national uh, I'm sorry about neighborhood watch so that gives them an opportunity to bring um, more people to participate more people out to participate in neighborhood watch not only that to unite um, so they can get to know who their neighbors are and I think that's right. the most important part of national night out because sometimes we get involved with our phone social media we really don't know who our neighbors are so when you have that block party they have the barbecues or, or activities for the kids it give everybody the opportunity to come out without their phones and just talk face to face so I think that's the the beauty of it is to unite as one in your neighborhood. Exactly. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I think that we do. We get so caught up in our own lives and, you know, we're commuting to and from work and we don't get that. We don't give ourselves the chance to just walk outside and meet who's next door, um, you know, who's down the street. So this is a great opportunity for that. Is there still time for neighborhoods to get involved with National Night Out? Oh, absolutely. Um, as far as our neighborhoods, we only have seven signed up so far, um, and we had, I believe, 11 last year. Okay. Um, but there's still plenty of time um, to sign up because the event, we have our um, vendor meeting on August the 1st at 7 p.m. But as far as the neighborhoods, if they want to sign up, they can still sign up right up until August the 1st if they're going to plan and coordinate something. Okay, and what's the easiest way for them to sign up? How do they do that? On the Sheriff's Office website. Okay, so mm -hmm. www.staffordsheriff.com yes. um, is where they can find some more information. And I believe on the opening, um, on our landing page, there's information about National Night yes, Out. Yes, there is. 
Okay. Now, I know that um, the Sheriff's Office has won awards in the past for National Night Out activities. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, last year we won 11th place for our category, and our category is uh, category 2, 100,000 to, I believe, 200,000 people. Um, so we won 11th place, um, and it's based on our population, and it's based on what events you have, how many vendors that you have come out, um, what kind of activities, and even how many neighborhoods you have participating. So when we're going around, we're taking pictures, and we have to send them all to National Association of Town Watch. Right. Um, so again, that our residents, they come out in numbers, so that helps us place because our community, you know, we unite as one, and that's what they're looking for, like the community, how many people are involved. And we have several, several vendors in the area, and it is, I would say, we are the talk of the town with Stafford um, oh, that's as far wonderful. as National Night Out. <laughs> well, I know every time, every year when I see National Night Out, it is packed in yes. that parking lot, and it's, it's all for a good reason. <laughs> so how long have you been involved with National Night Out? I have been with Stafford for 16 years, and this is my first year um, as far as coordinating the event. Okay. Um, so I will be, uh, I am coordinating along with Elena, our admin assistant, and Lieutenant Gibbons. So um, it is a lot of work, yes. um, but there is, it's fun. But just to see how many people are, are enthused about being a part of it is what real, we really enjoy about it. It's hard work, but when you see how many people want to participate and be a part of us, that's where the partnership comes in as far as the community, that they want to be involved, they can come out, and it's something positive. Right, right. And it's going to happen, rain or shine. Rain or shine. Last year we had rain and then we still went on with the show. <laughs> That's right. I mean, we always take safety precautions, but we will be there no yes, matter what. Yes, we will. What's your favorite part about National Night Out? Oh, my favorite part is probably seeing everybody out in um, Stafford Marketplace just interacting with each other. And again, we're away from our phones, we're away from the TV, and I mean, something that we're not doing anymore, just engaging, talking to people, right. like the walking to the different vendors, because we have over 140 vendors. So people are walking around, some have their dolls, their whole entire families pushing their babies, and they're just going to finding out what we have in Stafford County. And you have some residents like, I didn't even know we had that in Stafford County. Right. So when you see that, it's like, wow. And I know for me, I was like, oh, you guys are that we do that in Stafford County? It's like, okay, it kind of opens our eyes up to see what we're doing, because we have our north end and our south out then so we're, we're all coming together as one in one area that is, that's such a <laughs> wonderful description of what the night really is about mm -hmm. um, it's really about bringing all of us together building relationships yes. people just getting to know one another um, from law enforcement down to our businesses down to our schools um, and I know even the county government um, staff will probably be there as well mm -hmm. wonderful so to recap, National Night Out is Tuesday, August 6th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the Target parking lot at Stafford Marketplace. So if you'd like to take a stand against crime with the rest of us and help us spread awareness of crime and drug prevention, participate in our anti-crime programs, strengthen our neighborhood spirit and local police and community partnerships, and send a message to criminals to let them know that our neighborhoods are organized and fighting back against crime, then please come to National Night Out. We need you there. Sergeant Burgess, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, just a recap. Please come out and join us on Tuesday, August 6th from 5 to 8. It's a great event. Okay. If you would like more information about National Night Out, you can visit the Stafford Sheriff's website at www.staffordsheriff.com and scroll down to the home page where you will find all you need to know about the event. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to In the Know with the Stafford SO. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Additional information about the Stafford Sheriff's Office may be found at StaffordSheriff.com.